Aspen University, CJ 485, Traffic Law and Accident Investigation. My name is Andre Rosedale, I'm the instructor for the course, and we are on Module 8, Discussion Question 1, which reads, Do you feel that organizations such as MAD and SAD really help to reduce DUI-related deaths and serious injuries? Why or why not? If so, how do they do it? Support your reasoning with real-life examples. So, uh, to discuss this, uh, when I initially started um, teaching this course before the rewrite, this was one of the original questions uh, that was in a module, I think seven, um, I did some research and I found that Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, MAD, is an organization designed to reduce and stop drunk, drunk and drug driving. MAD reports, since its founding in 1980, a reduction of drunk drivers by 50%. How can these numbers be determined? Is MAD a successful nonprofit championing the cause to reduce drunk and drug driving? While researching to find the source of MAD's data, I looked for the hard data on the MAD website. I was not able to find, readily apparent, any data that correlates MAD's efforts with the reduction of drunk, drunk and drug driving. It may be possible that drunk and drug driving has been reduced by the advances in mass transportation, proximity of restaurants and bars to residences, and the development of more self-sustained communities. I also located Activist Facts, AF, a website that studies activist groups. I found it interesting in the last paragraph of the AF site discussing MAD that this quote appears. To keep the money rolling in, MAD must continue to expand its nationwide, nationwide guilt trip by admonishing adults not to drink anything before driving, lest they become the ultimate pariah, a drinking driver. Reading further into the MAD page, I did find several posts that were centered on guilt tripping. In checking the associated celebrities, I also found it interesting that many of those listed with being involved in MAD have suffered scandals of DUI crashes and drug abuse issues. Is MAD a relevant nonprofit reducing drunk and drug driving? Or has MAD gotten too big and is now involved in self-preservation through, guilt, through guilting corporations and individuals into donating to just an idea? And I will post below um, I will post in the descriptions of this video the MAD site that I retrieved uh, in 2018 and the facts at uh, Activist Facts. I would like to know what you think about this and I look forward to reading your post on this discussion question.